taboos. Okay. Yes, I agree. We're not attacking anyone. Uh, this is simply uh, a mission to protect the legacy. And I wanted just before we go and put up the link for everyone to see with Rupesh. Uh, you know, when we joined the movement, uh, Dr. Robin, in 1971, that's all we had was so, those Bhagavatams, the red ones, uh, that Prabhupada was circulating to the different uh, branches of his mission that he was opening in his program to expand Krishna consciousness. And they are authentic, absolutely authentic. There are issues about the editing. Of course, we understand why Prabhupada did that, but all of us love those books, those original books. And personally, I got a reprint of them and they're my favorite Bhagavatams. I don't know why someone would say that they're not authorized. These were written by Srila Prabhupada and published personally by him. These are the purest form of the philosophy that you can receive in your in your hands from the mercy of the pure devotee sure there are other that's okay and we we've discussed that but everyone here should appreciate this opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project to protect Prabhupada's legacy and there is also copyright issues so we are uh, presenting these books because they were pre-ISKCON books from 1965 on, 1966 onwards. So they're open domain for us. Yes. And Prabhu, uh, Rupesh, is it possible to put up the uh, GoFundMe link for people to see? Or is it... Uh, only the link that we put on the chat. Oh, and here we are. So this is the uh, the chat. And here you can see the beautiful books. And I'm going to uh, send a thousand dollars today from Hamilton Yatra. Let's go down. This is a GoFundMe drive uh, to raise donations for the printing of the original 1962 just slide that over, Prabhu, I can't see it. 64, 65, Delhi Srimad Bhagavatams by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. The treasured editions are the original books written, published, and distributed by His Divine Grace prior to His coming to America. How bona fide is that, Robin? These are the exact replicas of the books he brought with him in trunks aboard the steamship Jaladuta for Calcutta and arriving in New York on September 19th, 1965. These treasured reprints of this, of the original versions of this Srimad Bhagavatam provide comprehensive spiritual insight into the ancient mysteries of spiritual life from the pen of the pure devotee of Krishna produced by him under the order of his spiritual master, his divine grace, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami. Prabhupada, not certain of how much time uh, he had left on this earthly plane, told us these initial three uh, volumes, it should be initial volumes of the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, contained all the ne knowledge necessary for a conditioned soul to awaken his dormant Krishna consciousness in order to go back home, back to Godhead, even in this one life, lifetime. Please generous, generously support this fundraising campaign and our efforts to reprint these most important books for the benefit of people now and future generations, along with the printing of the original Delhi uh, First Canto Bhagavatam, we also want to print the 1969 Sri Upanishad and the original 1959 version of the Easy Journey to Other Planets, which back then in the early 70s, these were treasured books as well by all of us. The reprinting of the unedited, unadulterated books to protect the written legacy of Srila Prabhupada 
is the most important service one can render in the service of God, Krishna, and humanity at large. The total cost for this project is as following. First Canto 3 volume, Delhi, uh, 2,000 sets, $18,000 US. It was a very uh, reasonable printing cost that we've been quoted. Sri Upanishad, 1969, an easy journey, 1959, to other planets, $3,500. So that's less than about 80 cents per book. Total GoFundMe is $24,000. Thank you for your gracious and most appreciated contribution to this very important mission we have undertaken to protect the legacy of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in his unadulterated presentation of the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So let me say this, if anybody has any questions, whether it's Rathi Atra or anyone else, they can call us up and get an insight from us to personally about why we're doing this. And we plan to expand this, by the way, Prabhus, as we move forward, using this uh, platform as a stepping stone to continue to, to have these books published and distributed through a large network of people that you may not be aware of who will only distribute these books, only. They will not distribute the other books that have been published by the current organization that is using them as a leverage to expand their illicit guru system. So that's pretty much it for today. And so thank you very much, everyone, for participating in today's program.